Boy here and today I am filming my um, B2B Psychon wrap up. Um, if you haven't been following along, go back and check some of the videos. Excuse me, some of my hair is falling apart back here. <laughs> um, anyway, I have been doing a countdown to con season because I had three conventions coming up kind of back to back and I veered off from that just a little bit to focus on the first of those which was the um, Brain to Book Cyber Convention. It was completely online. And so this is kind of my wrap up, my whole takeaway from it. While I'm speaking, I'm going to be highlighting some really cool book covers that were featured um, in, at the convention. I can't do all of them, but because I was featured as a romance author and a fantasy author, that's what you're gonna see on the screen somewhere. So it'll start with romance books and then it'll go into the fantasy books. And so, yeah. So I'm going to um, put on my glasses and take out my notes and I'm going to go over some of my kind of um, experience. So uh, this is actually the third year that they've done the B2B SciCon, but this was my first year participating and it was a total learning experience. Um, there was, I don't know how to describe it really. It was, it was fun. I mean, don't get me wrong, whatever, you know, good or bad, the whole event was really fun. When it was, you know, actually happening, there was the excitement of, you know, things that were just kind of happening at the time. And so it was very kind of stressful, but a good kind of stress, you know? Um, I, I was able to make it to two panels, which I don't know how that happened because the, <laughs> the last one I did, I was actually out of town. I had a horrible Wi-Fi connection, but I was there anyway. So I, I think the main thing that I can take away is any type of live interaction that you can do at these type of events, do it. Um, I also participate, I didn't, I didn't have a book entered, but I voted on Cover Wars. That was a lot of fun. Um, the fantasy group, we did a scavenger hunt, which I enjoyed going through that, um, seeing some of the other books. So the scavenger hunt was really fun. But I think the main thing for me as an author was just seeing all the different author showcases. And what that is, that's basically like the equivalent of like your author table at a live event, your booth. And so <clears throat> that's one of the main reasons why I'm featuring these book covers right now is because it was um, enlightening, it was educational, it was fun to be able to see what other authors were doing, you know, how they were presenting themselves, what kind of things they were putting out. That was really cool for me. Even as a reader, I mean, I've added so many books to my TBR list and, you know, sometimes I add books to my TBR list knowing it'll be like years before I get to it. But like, I'm actually going to read some of these fairly soon, uh, especially considering how my reading challenge is going. You want to know more about that, check the link. But um, yeah, so that's, um, so the author booths were phenomenal. Um, for me, I, I feel like the genre tours were a little off. I think for people who are very specifically interested in those genres and who engage in, you know, blog activity, they were really good. But if you were someone who doesn't read a whole lot of blogs and you're not devoted to a particular genre, I'm not really sure how that came across. Um, the group itself has posted some different stats about how things went. And it seems like overall the event went really well. So I can only give you like my perspective. I, I feel like me as a reader, the genre tour was a little wonky and so were some of the blog hops. Now, because I love to read blogs and follow blogs, that part of it was good for me. I was just trying to think from maybe the aspect of a reader, maybe someone who saw you know something posted on Facebook or saw something on Twitter and decided to check it out. Those might have not been you know, the draws that they could have been. But I definitely think anything that um, the, the panels were great, the scavenger hunts, the cover wars, like those types of things were just really fun and um, I, I really enjoyed those. And so I guess my whole takeaway from it is when I do this next year, because yeah, I think this is something I will want to do again. I know which events work better for me and which, you know, I may kind of, you know, I'll just pass on those for next year, you know. So it was a great event overall, um, different experience. Um, I can tell that it's growing a lot just just from, you know, the type of activity that was happening in kind of the, the backstage area because we had like an online 
um, backstage area and seeing, you know, some of the comments and things that were going on. And um, it, anyway, it was definitely memorable. I was traveling for most of it and so it kind of helped keep me distracted from some of the life drama that was going on because you know how it is people so i'm glad that i did this event i will definitely do it again i've learned a lot i've met a lot of cool people added a lot of books to my tbr you know so that in and of itself was pretty cool uh i didn't win anything from the big giveaway i was so disappointed but there could only be so many winners um, but yeah, I mean, there was, I feel like this was the type of event that a lot of people missed out on. <laughs> so hopefully next year we'll get more of the word out and some, so many people won't miss out on it. It was really cool. And I think that's really, oh, I did want to go down a quick rundown. Like I said, I was represented in both the fantasy and romance genres. My author showcase was under the romance um, section. But just to give you a quick idea of how many people were participating. There were 15 mystery thriller authors. There were four science fiction authors. There were 35 fantasy authors. There were 14, including me, romance authors. And again, romance um, doesn't necessarily think, it doesn't have to be, you know, a Harlequin romance that a lot of people like think of. Um, one of my stories is a paranormal romance. It actually has like a Christian worldview. It's not Christian fiction, but like that's still considered a romance. Uh, another one of my romances is a um, contemporary rom-com. It's a romantic comedy. So again, not a whole lot of steam going on there, but it's a romance. So there were nine young adult authors. There were um, nine memoir or nonfiction authors. There were five horror authors, eight science fiction, science fantasy authors that's that's a genre that's being um becoming more popular you know a blending of the science fiction and fantasy and then there were eight historical fiction authors so there was quite a bit a variety there was really something there for everyone if you were willing to look for it and it really wasn't that hard to find if you went, went to the main site so anyway this is my wrap up for the b2b psycon 2017 and i look forward to seeing you in 2018 Bye for now.